Yo, what's up guys? Um, we're here today, me and James, with a nice uh, Crackdown 2 video for you. Uh, I thought we we thought we put out a nice, nice little commentary, considering we're not doing one for quite a while, so... Uh, well, it's been a month, about a month over, or maybe over a month now since we last put a video out together. Um, we just haven't been having the time really, it's, time has been cut short really, due, due to like exams and crap like that, but... After, this, after the exams are done, I think my last exam's like June the second. After that, it's uh, plain sailing. All uh, all so much videos constantly. Just constantly get videos out. But yeah, as you can see, you've got to watch the boring Crackdown Two uh, tutorial at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> We're on my hard drive. As I don't have my account, we have to okay, do it all. So it's fucking annoying. Yeah, but still you can just enjoy the most amazing Crackdown Two graphics ledge. ever and the most <laughs> solid, saturated gameplay from James ever. Um, oh, look at it moving! Wow! Oh my god! Almost fucking kill yourself in the process. Nice. Wow! That's brilliant. No, um, yeah. Today we just um, we're having like a real good conversation about hoverboards. <laughs> yeah, we're just talking about shit. Sounds uh, sounds so weird, but it'd be so awesome to get yeah, it would be amazing. We'd happily pay every last penny we own to get hoverboards. <laughs> oh, I don't care. We just like skateboarding, but ten million times better. Good. Probably. Well, I, you, I, I don't know. Tricks, tricks, tricks would be like. Oh yeah. Well, of course. It, yeah. Of course it <laughs> would. Actually. Yeah. What am I about? It would have been like. You must leave the room. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. But um, yeah. Another thing that's been playing on my mind quite recently. I'm, I'm like obsessed with conspiracies. Not not necessarily like conspiracies, but oh yeah, conspiracies. But yeah. <laughs> um, just anything supernatural and weird. Like um, I've been looking into somewhere called Skinwalker's Ranch. It's uh. It's a place in America, in Utah, Utah I think it's called Utah, something like that. It's a state. It's um, isolated in the middle of nowhere, this ranch, and it's. Uh, and we are going to get there. Well, oh, oh, definitely. It's <laughs> it's renowned for its for it's renowned for its paranormal activity. It's like yeah. one it of does those. Does sound like really creepy. Really I was explaining it to James earlier on, and yeah, it's uh, it's pretty messed up. Basically, it's like it's a paranormal hotspot. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. It's it's just completely surrounded by, um, by this. Weird sort of rock that's only found in that position, that sort of part in the world of the world, and um, it's just a hot spot for paranormal activity. I mean, there's like sightings of weird sort of interdimensional beings, like crazy six foot tall cats. And it's like, no, it's just really weird. It's quite creepy, actually. I, there was one story I didn't tell you about, actually. Um, the the people who originally owned the ranch back in like the early '90s, sort of time, they um. They were sort of convinced. They knew by then they'd li been living there a while. They knew by then that something wasn't right about the area they were in. Like they were getting cattle mutilations for their cows. Like huge parts of a cow, like its whole stomach would been like lasered out almost, like precisely. Yeah, it sounds really weird. And like, squares of meat. It does sound really weird, but like the stomachs and the organs of, of, of the cows have been taken away, and, and it, your stomach is the most sort of. I, I don't know. I, I heard it on a. On a video I was watching, was listening to, um, about it all. Apparently, the cow, like the stomach, is the mo is the area where the cells are the most sort of, um, I don't know, easily. Uh, I don't know what the word is. You can easily, yeah, you can easily access the cells and look at them and study them if you were going if you going to study them. Um, but yeah, they were just being beamed right out like in five in the space of five minutes. With, so like the guy who owned the, who owned the ranch, he'd turn around five minutes later. You know, the whole cow had just been completely butchered. Like it, it, the whole intersection of it has been taken out. But it, it was it was almost like it was almost like um, there was no blood. It was just completely clean cut, and yeah. the cow just fell to the floor as, as he'd look. It's quite creepy. Um, there's another, there's another like, it is really weird, I want to go there big time now, fucking hell, let me see crazy cat creatures and probably eat, <laughs> oh, no, yeah. eat your face, <laughs> I'm there. Why well, wouldn't you want to go there? Jesus Christ, I'd take a gun, no, but there was another one where they're, they're saying about, um, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to say this one either, there was a wolf, um, that was quite large, or well, overly large, and, um, <coughs> and it was, Prowling round outside the cattle, like in, on the front yard, uh, on the front porch, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And it was watching all the cattle, like all the cows. <laughs> and um, Terry, the bird. The bird. <laughs> the bird. <blood. laughs> <laughs> 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 You're the 
the uh, the bloke who owned the ranch. He uh, he went outside with his son and uh, his, and his dad, and they obviously like tried to shoo the wolf off, but it wasn't moving, and it grabbed one of the cows round round its neck. This, this huge wolf, and it wouldn't let go, and they were kicking it and punching the wolf, and it wasn't showing any signs of moving. So he went, he ran inside and like got his revolver. This huge magnum, not the revolver, sorry, huge 45 magnum, whatever it's called. Comes out with it, most powerful pistol you could possibly use. Shoots the wolf in the face, point blank range, and it just, it just took a chunk of the wolf's skin out. It didn't. It was no blood, and then the wolf didn't show any sign of struggling. No yelp, nothing. It shot in the face, and only a little bit of fur came off with a bit of flesh. A huge magnum like that did nothing to it. He shot it again in the waist, and it didn't do anything. He didn't see any blood come out or anything like that. And the wolf just gradually dragged the cow into the woods and just severed it. He took torch to pieces, but they said like that that was supposedly meant to be the skinwalker, which is like a a um. A native Indian from a certain tribe who made a deal with the devil. This is supposed. This is supposedly how it goes. He makes a deal with the devil, and you have to kill um, five close family friends or members of the family um, to be able to like, you know, become a skinwalker huh. or kill five close family members. So like, it is really messed up. But you ha he apparently gives, they gave them him the, the ability to turn into like any animal he wants to turn into, and any person he wants to be. But um, we need to go out. Cool. Yeah, we do definitely need to do that. Let's do a really little vlog while we're walking around. Just see yeah. something fucked up in the background. Yeah, yeah, what? Nope. Like nope. slender there or something. Oh man, <laughs> some nasty stuff. I read a creepy, creepy pastor on, actually, on the skinwalker like actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was really good. Um, like the last line, I remember it. I don't really remember the most of it in the middle, because I was kind of skipping through it. But um, in the middle, at the end, it said something like, um, the, these, two, these two blokes had been severed in the house, and it was speaking in third person. And then it said, um, several months later, uh, John, one of the, the one of the people like, who was in the, in the story, was um, well, they they'd both been found in this cabin, like completely ripped to pieces, and they'd, they'd been like basically just yeah, they they were dead. They were dead. Yeah, to put it to put it. Um, yeah, they were dead, and um, they'd been buried and everything. And a couple of months later, um, John. One of, one of the brothers had been seen at a gas station filling up his car yeah. with a huge grin on his face. Oh, just, a, right. just a grin, look, looking up at the CCTV camera. Oh, that's and uh, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, uh, it's pretty weird. I know, that's really good. But um, yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. So yeah, well, that was just sort of a thing, just to say what was on our mind today, I guess. Skinwalker and uh, Hummer <laughs> Boy. I've been having loads Great of great ways. Hummer Boy. <laughs> right, see you soon, guys. Peace. Bye. This is the agency Intel console.